These can be your ties. Hello and welcome to Jack's Gated Masculine Video. It's Wednesday, we have a cocktail video coming at you. So last week we made ourselves a very lovely Mai Tai. Even sitting here all week long, it still tastes like I just made it about 15 minutes ago. Um, so we're, uh, we kind of had this trend where we're trying uh, prepared versions of cocktails. Now we're not gonna be able to do this with all of our cocktails. Some of the cocktails I do are a little bit more uh, you know, out of the way and they're not gonna make prepared versions. The Mai Tai, however, is a fairly popular cocktail. And as I said on last week's video, um, it's a bit maligned because uh, it's made by a lot of different people in a lot of different ways. Um, uh, now, there are legitimate variations on the cocktail, um, you know, the proportions of your lime juice, your orgeat, your simple, these kinds of things. Uh, but then there are also people that just pour some fruit juice and rum into a glass and call it a Mai Tai. And if you like that, that's fine. You know, no, no uh, heat on you or anything. Um, but it's not really what most people would consider a Mai Tai, what, what the cocktail can do with. So, we have these four examples of things. Now, uh, uh, full disclosure, I have actually tried uh, this one before, so that one is not gonna be totally new to me, um, but the other three are brand new. Uh, we have tried these, uh, both of these companies before, our On The Rocks and our uh, Fling Craft Cocktail from Boulevard. Um, I remember our Fling uh, Margarito actually wasn't too bad, so we'll see how they do with the Mai Tai. So, we're just gonna start from left to right. We're gonna pour these. These have all been pre-chilled, and I'm just going to serve them in a rocks glass with a big cube in it. This is why you should always open your bottles before you start recording. All right. Go ahead and open that up. We're just going to get ourselves a nice, generous, nice, generous little serving there. Next is our cut water. You tried theirs. I believe their margarita wasn't too bad either. So that is um, it's very liquidy. Uh, I mean, the one thing about a mai tai that's sort of hard, I think, probably for craft cocktail people, or for excuse me, for pre-prepared cocktail people to do, is a mai tai is a very creamy cocktail, and creamy is tough to do when you're doing pre-prepared kind of stuff. Now, this is a new one. I had not heard of them before. This is called Monica, Monaco Craft Cocktail. And this is called a classic Mai Tai, so this should be the real thing. It even contains rum, which is a good sign. I mean, I guess it's better than not containing rum. Now, that is uh, carbonated and very liquidy, so I do not think that I would call that a classic Mai Tai, but I'm not going to quibble, quibble with the fine people at Monaco uh, Craft Cocktails. And finally, we've got our fling from the good people at Boulevard Brewing Company. Um, that also very, very liquidy. Um, and I, I, I don't want to prejudge because I'm not going to say that these are what these are based on how they pour it into a glass. Um, but again, that's what a Mai Tai, classically made Mai Tai should look like. Not seeing anything that looks a lot like that, but it's fine. Maybe. We'll see. Just give the notes on that on the, the classic Mai Tai again. The real Mai, classic Mai Tai, not the Monaco classic Mai Tai. Um, it's a very complex cocktail, but everything is a symphony. Um, you're getting, again, you, you can taste your or, uh, orange flower water from your orgeat syrup, the nuttiness from the orgeat. Um, you're getting your lime juice, but the lime juice isn't really sour. Um, it's just bringing that sort of note of citrus. Um, and again, you get your rums. This, this was made with uh, an Appleton. Um, so this isn't a super funky Mai Tai. Uh, I think if I was doing this one again, I probably would have gone with Smith & Cross or Dr. Bird to bring a little bit more funk into it. Um, but I think I've delayed long enough. Uh, I think we're going to start uh, over on this side with our uh, On The Rocks. Um, I've tried a few of their cocktails. Well, I tried one for the Cosmopolitan, was not a big fan. Um, and I have tried some of their things uh, subsequent to that and I have not been super impressed. But, you know, hope springs eternal. That's, that's almost good. Um, it's, uh, I'm gonna see if they put, 
the thing is, it's not, it's not actually bad. I, I, I don't mean to say it that way. Um, the thing is, I'm tasting a little bit of pineapple, um, which I like pineapple. I'm not against pineapple in any way, shape, or form. Um, but a Mai Tai does not have pineapple in it. Yeah, there's, there's definitely some pineapple in there. Um, it's not a bad cocktail. Uh, the mouth feels pretty good. Uh, it's not it's not as creamy as you made a Mai Tai yourself. Um, it, it just, it, it's sort of an off note. The pineapple is just like, it's not supposed to be there. And so it's, it's giving me pause. Uh, not a bad, not a bad tasting cocktail. Um, definitely compared to the, the Cosmo we had from them. This is a huge step up. This tastes sort of like um, a, a Mai Tai. Which sounds like damning with faint praise, but it really isn't. Uh, a Mai Tai is a, is a tough cocktail to make. Um, I was really, really dubious when I decided to do this. Um, I think when we tasted, you know, comparing when we did our margaritas and our uh, cosmopolitans, I think a cosmopolitan is a little bit more complicated cocktail than a margarita. Um, and I think for pre prepared cocktails, you really want to go with simple cocktails because um, I think that you, you need to maintain shelf stability and all this other stuff. Um, and so I think for a prepared cocktail, that's really not too bad. I'm, I, don't, I don't hate that. Um, the pineapple's just weird. It, it's the only thing that sort of gives me pause now. The pineapple's kind of a strange thing in that. But All right, so we're gonna try our cut water. Again, I have tried this once before, but I'm tasting it now with, you know, the sort of real McCoy. It's not, it's not, so the first time I had this, I did not like it. Um, I think I like it a little bit better this time. Um, there's not a lot of substance there is the problem, and the mouth feels totally different. Uh, I mean, that, that's the thing, that, again, I, it, I'm probably gonna repeat this with the other two as well. The hardest thing with the Mai Tai is getting that mouth feel. Mouth feel should be nice and creamy and thick, um, and this is not thick. Uh, there's also sort of a, I think there might be pineapple in this too. Um, pineapple it's it's got sort of an off element to it that's not quite working um, it's not unpleasant uh, I mean uh, last week with our, uh, a few weeks ago with our cosmopolitans uh, you know there was a lot of there's a lot of off elements there um, this isn't as bad as any of those um, it definitely wouldn't be my first thing I'd reach for um, but it's it's not bad it's not terrible all right let's see if our uh, classic Mai Tai tastes like a classic Mai Tai Again, there's there is some pineapple there. I, I I don't know what is. They usually don't put any kind of ingredients on these things. It's not a bad cocktail. I, th I think you'd probably be just fine with this. You know, uh, sipping a few of these by the pool. It's it's refreshing. It's light. Uh, but also the problem with the mai tai is it's not supposed to really be a light cocktail. It's supposed to be kind of a heavier cocktail. Um, There is some nuttiness in that, and I think the cut water, there's, there's no, virtually no nuttiness at all, which kind of makes it not really a Mai Tai, but, um, so there is nuttiness here. Um, I think there, again, I, I'm tasting some pineapple, which is just an off element for a Mai Tai. A Mai Tai should not taste like pineapple at all, because there's no pineapple in it. Um, but again, not bad. I, I think that I'm kind of pleasantly surprised so far. Uh, none of these are terrible. Um, they're, they're kind of interesting. Uh, but let's finish off our, uh, with our fourth, and this is our fling. Let's have a fling. Okay, that's not very good. Um, this tastes like, uh, it's really just kind of tastes like a hard seltzer um, with some artificial flavors added to it. Um, I don't know, they, a lot of times these guys will say no artificial flavors, and they just have flavors that taste very artificial. Lime, orange, and other natural flavors and colors. Well, apparently it is natural, but it doesn't taste like a natural Mai Tai. Um, it's just real, kind of light, and again, contrary to what the package says, tastes kind of artificial.
it tastes it tastes watered down. Um, I should go back and talk about the proof on these things. Um, so our on the rocks uh, mai tai uh, here it says it's made with cruisin rum uh, is twenty percent uh, or forty proof. So that's a pretty it's a pretty spirit heavy cocktail. Uh, pretty spirit heavy cocktail there. Our cut shark or excuse me cut water is twelve point five percent. Also fairly fairly heavy cocktail. Um, our Monaco Craft Cocktail is 9%, so we're kind of, feels like we're going right down the line here. And our Fling is 8%. I promise I didn't plan it that way. That's just kind of the way it turned out. So this is the lowest proof cocktail, and it tastes like it probably shouldn't have been. Um, it just kind of tastes like, it tastes like they made a Mai Tai, uh, well, not really a Mai Tai. It tastes like they made some kind of a prepared craft cocktail, and then just added too much uh, um, carbonated water to it. It kind of tastes like there might have been a good or halfway decent prepared cocktail in there that just kind of got drowned. Um, one thing for uh, bourbon tasting or, or whiskey tasting, you'll know that adding a little bit of water to your spirit can bring out uh, flavors that weren't there originally, um, and that can be helpful, but you also don't dump in <laughs> a bunch of water because then you just lose the flavor altogether. Uh, I'm going to go down the line one last time real quick. Uh, this is definitely the one I would avoid on this particular panel, though. Now going back to this one, after having tried the others, the one thing I think you might run into with this is it is a little sweeter than I think it probably should be. Um, and that goes with a lot of their cocktails. Uh, if you if you like sort of the carbonated, uh, you know, which all the three of these are, uh, you might add just a little bit of uh, uh, seltzer to this. Uh, just a little bit of sparkling water, um, you know, to kind of balance it out, give it a more a, kind of a lighter feel to it. Um, but it's still not bad. It's just it's got a it's got a strange flavor profile that doesn't exactly mirror a mai tai, but it's I think it's the it's close, kind of close. The cut water's bad. Again, both of these are kind of a little puzzling because they're not bad cocktails, and I don't dislike them. And I think especially if you're if you're out by the pool or if you're out on the boat or whatever, and you want something that's kind of light, refreshing cocktail, I think you're gonna like these. I think they're good, uh, but I don't think they're my type, exactly. Yeah, Monica, I think the Monica is the one that's growing on me the most on the, on the second try. And we'll give our fling one last try. There's just not enough there. It, it just, it, it tastes like uh, canned water with, you know, a tiny little bit of flavor added to it. Uh, so, in, a, in an amazing upset, uh, the Monaco Classic Mai Tai, while it doesn't taste exactly like a classic Mai Tai, um, is probably the one that I would have if I was going to um, go outside and be on the river, which I won't because I'm an inside person. But if I was, I think I'd probably be pretty happy with that. And I think you'd be, I think you would too. So, in that bombshell, uh, I think we're going to just stick with our regular Mai Tai, and if we're by the river or on a on a uh, floating down the river or doing whatever, maybe we grab our Monaco. Uh, so I want to thank everybody for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And let me know if you've tried any of these or any other uh, pre-prepared Mai Tais and what you thought about it. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and have a good drink. Have a good day. We did ourselves. <laughs>